The Rhine and Neckar river regions of Germany are some of the most beautiful and culturally rich in Europe. It's a region of quaint villages, countless castles, ancient history, incredible food, amazing wine, and where you will find fairy tale scenes with every turn you take. With Utrax, we'll be traveling along these beautiful waterways on a comfortable barge while exploring the area by bike. This is undoubtedly the best way to fully experience this incredible part of the world. The combination of the trip and the boat uh, is, is really something special because this uh, boat, um, yeah, it has a heart. I would say it has, has a heart. You just unpack once and that makes it really easy and your hotel, and your hotel comes always with you. Uh, so you never have to unpack and pack uh, again on this trip. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's like coming home at the end of each day. Um, you, you know, you leave your room and they make it up again at the end of, you know, each day. And so you come in and it's nice, it's fresh, it's ready to go. And all your stuff is there. It's not like you pack up each day and then move from hotel to hotel. So the hotel follows you. So it's really nice. The first holidays we did were um moving from one hotel to another, but that means packing and unpacking every time, and it's a, it's a hassle. When it comes to comfort, this boat has everything you need. Private cabins, comfortable beds, private ensuite, plenty of storage, power, and Wi-Fi. While I was staying in a single room, more spacious cabins are also available, and other trips even offer deluxe options. While it isn't a huge luxury barge, as Carson mentioned, it has a heart. It is the perfect size for crew and passengers from all around the world to interact, and it wasn't long before everyone had become good friends. With a focus on the active traveller, each day on this journey we woke to a different sunrise and took off on our bikes to have an adventure in a new part of the world. I suppose what I really love about this particular experience is being able to jump off the barge and explore the Rhine by land. This means jumping on a bike and riding from town to town, region to region. Uh, what this means is that we're not missing out on anything. We really are experiencing just about everything this beautiful region has to offer. You see, you see much more than you would have stayed only on board of a ship. Uh, then you see the scenery, but you don't go into the towns. And we're crossing a lot of beautiful little towns uh, on this on this on the cycling part of this trip uh, so you see much much more uh, than if you have only a, a boat trip. There are some lovely villages, uh, just, uh, quaint old German architecture, uh, it has a character to it. Yeah, the scenery along the river is beautiful, uh, it's, it's just a, a real pleasure cycling along by the water. Being a self-guided trip, you have the freedom to stop where and when you please and create your own adventure. This stretch of the river is littered with castles, medieval forts and churches, each with its own fascinating story waiting for you to explore. We can set our own pace that sometimes if you're on a guided trip, they'll stop for coffee and you're not ready for that or stop for lunch and you're not ready for that or you'd like to stop and see something in terms of a garden or something like that. So it, it's, it, you really, it leaves it up to you. You got time to do little side trips while you're biking, and you have time in the town where the barge is docked to be able to go and explore that town. But if you don't want to bike, you don't have to. You can stay on the barge. They'll feed you on the barge lunch, yeah. and uh, you can just ride with the boat down the river. Since all of the bike trails on this trip follow the river, it's almost impossible to get lost. And the riding is mostly on flat ground, making it possible for anyone. If you have doubts, there's always the option of an electric bike. We are what we consider to be recreational bikers, so the mileage or kilometers they were showing on that was a little intimidating, but it really has been doable even for us. At the end of the day's ride, the barge will be waiting for you with your own private room, shower and delicious hot meal on board in yet another magnificent riverside village. On board, fine wine, beer, cocktails and drinks were tallied up and paid for at the end, while hearty breakfasts, takeaway lunches and delicious dinners were served every single day. It's been incredible. Uh, you know, five course meals every night, the breakfasts have been great and then making sandwiches and stuff like that. 
As well as cycling, you can also take part in organised activities like city tours or my favourite, a tour of a spectacular local vineyard with two very funny local winemakers in their tractor, complete with a seated bar and endless bottles of wine in the back. We like cruises and this is better than a cruise because it's active. A good value and a lot of fun. I'd second that. <laughs> We're already talking about our next one. At the end of the day, you have time to explore the town where the barge is docked and then relax on the deck with your new friends and watch the sun set over a new horizon each evening.